Welcome to Learning to Light the Night. In today's video, we're going to learn how to personalize our fundraising page. Personalizing your page is very important as it allows you to share your personal story and help potential donors feel connected to your fundraising efforts. We're starting on our personal page, uh, the link to which is supplied in an automated email directly after registration. If you need your link resent, please ask your staff manager. We're gonna start by clicking sign in at the top. Your username is going to be whatever email address your automated confirmation came to and uh, is associated with your registration. If you need your password reset, you can just ask your staff manager. This will bring us to our Light the Night fundraising dashboard. From here, you can do a lot of different things, which includes starting your Facebook fundraiser, checking in on recent donations, seeing what your team members are doing, and many other really fun tools. Today, we're going to use the dashboard to personalize our page. I'm gonna click over here on the left to the fundraising pages dropdown. If you are a team captain, you will also see a team option in this dropdown. The process for personalizing a team page is the same as personalizing a individual page. I'm gonna go ahead and click my page. So this is gonna give us a preview similar to what we saw before of what our page looks like live on the internet. We're gonna go into manage posts, give it a second to populate. You're gonna go ahead to manage and then click edit. From here, you're going to see that stock information that's on the page and you can go ahead and take that out. Everything in this box is what's going to be um, visible on your page. So now from here, what I like to do is have um, anything that you would like put on the page written out in a Word document, and then you can simply copy and paste it in. Now, a photo is a great addition to any fundraising page. You can add a photo from your desktop by clicking this photo icon. You can see past year photos that are saved onto the system, or you can upload a new image. Once I see the image I want, I can go ahead and press insert. I'm just gonna resize this photo of our lovely fireworks to fit the page. And now once I'm sure that the content is what I'd like, I'm gonna go ahead and press publish. To make sure that all the sizing is correct and it actually looks how I hope, I can go back to that preview tab and see what it's gonna look like on the website. Perfect, exactly how I want it. Now there are a couple more personalization features that we can add. The first being the title here, where it says my fundraising page. If you'd like to change that, you click here on page options. And then I can change the page title. Bridget's fundraising page. If you would like to add an in honor or in memory on your page of the name of a loved one you're participating to honor, you can do so here. So simple. You can also change display options and email notifications from here. Once I've made any changes, I'm gonna press save and go over to that preview tab. Now I can see my change title and my in honor of box. Now, anytime you press publish or save, your changes are made directly to your website and are live and ready to go. So you'll see them when you click on your personal fundraising link. Also, if you'd like to change your goal on your fundraising page, you can do that from home and say, I wanna become a bright light. I can go ahead and enter my $1,000 goal right there. So now your page is ready to go and you're ready to go ask for donations and share your story. Thank you.